I'm Jen Kerr and I'm the program committee chair here at the Midland Cultural Center. The Written Word is a brand new monthly program, a partnership between the MCC and the Midland Public Library that celebrates the written word in all of its forms, from poetry to journalism and nonfiction to fiction. Our inaugural event is Midland Reads 2014. I got the idea for this event because I am an English major and reading is my passion. I've been a follower of the Canada Reads debates for years and I thought what better way to kick off a series than with an extremely local connection that would see these five Midland panelists debate five novels on which novel could help change our community, nation, or world. I'm Catherine Herman and I'm defending The Arenda by Joseph Boyden. Hi, uh, my name is Tom Hayden. I'm uh, part of this year's version of Midland Reads, and uh, I'm here this evening to talk about uh, a book that I'm defending. It is called Half Blood Blues by Isai Aduchia. My name is Anna Hartman, and I'm defending Rai Hodge's book, Cockroach. My name is Peter Flood. I'm going to be defending The Year of the Flood by Margaret Atwood. My name is Linda Hillman and I'm defending the book Annabelle by Kathleen Winter. Describe your novel in three words. It was good. Uh, dark, dirty, and devious. In three words I'd say this book deals with loneliness, conformity, and overcoming adversity. Two words I know. <laughs> Self-preservation, violent, and beautiful. Thought-provoking, does hyphenated count as one? Or is it thought-provoking? Just one. Um, story, first and foremost. It's a good story, it's not just a scary textbook. And prophetic question mark. Who in your novel is most like yourself? Um, I would like to say Shona, but I think I'll have to go with um, the therapist, uh, Genevieve. She's a little more uptight than I am, but I would say she's closest to me. I'd like to think that I'm like Gosling, but uh, I think we all uh, kind of hope to be better than perhaps what we are. Um, I guess I would say I'm a bit like Snow Falls, uh, a little bit stubborn. Uh, she has a lot of perseverance and... Uh, in the end is quite content with herself. Absolutely Thomasina, the gypsy. Probably Toby. She seems to be more introverted and uh, a skeptical character. What about your novel will resonate most with the community here in Midland? You know, I gave that a lot of thought and I have to think that the decisions made, we all would question our own ethics, our own values, and what decisions we would have made, but you have to put it that they were in a small town, and when you're in a small town, you make entirely different decisions. We, we don't realize that, you know, there's probably a guy sitting on a street corner here picking his nose or his guitar who might be really great, and if we could put him on to, you know, if we could get a producer for him and some proper backup singers, I, I think there's a nice notion in there about the elusiveness of genius. I think um, the main characters uh, struggle after you know going through a hard time and finding a way in a small community that you might not know everyone right away but trying to find your friends and your allies. Um, I feel like a lot of people in town might have hit a few bumps in the road but um, just trying to find your way through that challenge. I would say most resonant idea in the novel would be uh, the environmental implications. Uh, it's very much an environmentally apocalyptic novel and it covers a lot of issues that overlap with things that we need to think about in our own Midland, Penetang, Georgia Bay area. What I like about this book is that uh, it's, it represents our collective history and by choosing to live here in Midland or, or, or in the area, uh, we're choosing to live on this land that is rich and soaked in this history. Um, and I think it's important for all members of the community to have an understanding of, of what happened here in this location uh, so that we can appreciate the history that, that this land represents. 
Which panelist are you most excited to debate with? Um, I would have to say Anna Hartman. She's been talking a lot of trash on the internet, and I'm excited to see if she can actually back it up, because I don't think she can. I'm most excited to argue with Pete Flood, but I'm really excited to see uh, Catherine Hartman and hear what she has to say. I think I'm excited to debate with Anna. Uh, she's my cousin. She's quite feisty, uh, and she's also... Uh, a strong believer in her own knowledge and her in her own opinion, so I think it'll make for an interesting uh, evening. Uh, I'm also excited to go up against Pete Flood. He's an interesting character, and it'll be uh, it'll be neat to see what happens. Well, he's a librarian and an aggressive one too. Mm. But taking on a librarian as a former bookstore owner, that kind of resonates.